Many students come to me and they ask, Sir, what is the key mantra to get job in the industry faster? And many a times I uh, speak to them and I see the frustration which all of, it, all of them face. And so I decided to reach out to some industry experts. Last week I was at iBiome 2023 in their 32nd meeting and I met more than 50 plus CEOs and entrepreneurs from the biotech industry in Bangalore, interacted with all of them and they gave me some strategies. So what I'm going to tell you is the juice of whatever interaction happened there. And of course, my own personal views as well. So getting into the industry faster is science as well as art. That's something you have to know. It's not that it's difficult. It's just that it requires some kind of knack, okay, some kind of strategy. And that's the first point I want to make that you require a strategy to get in. Now, one thing I have observed, even um, entrepreneurs and CEOs at iBiome told me that, you know, if you want to get into a big pharma company or a big biotech company and you're just a fresher, it is going to be tough, right? So what do you have to do? You have to first target smaller companies. You have to get into smaller companies and gain experience, learn from them how they're doing things. And then probably in future, if there is any opportunity, then you can always apply in big pharma companies that fresher tag would be gone and you will be easily absorbed there. So whether you want to get into the pharma industry or a chemical sciences industry or a biotech industry, this strategy always works. So you have to first get in, you have to get in first. So you can target always the smaller companies, lesser known, smaller companies, maybe lesser salary, but learn. That's a learning phase. So Assume that you're learning there. So obviously you have to give a pay a price for that. And that's something like, okay, let's work in a small company. Because according to me, there is no company which is small or big. It's just a perception in our mind, right? So we think that this company is small, this company is big. But, you know, in truth, I will tell you, Dropbox is a very big company, right? All of you must be knowing. But you know how many employees Dropbox had when this, you know, they listed on New York Stock Exchange? Only seven employees, right? So you'll say Dropbox is a small company or a big company, no, right? So there's no such thing as a small or big company, but yeah, small scale companies, you can always get in easily and gain experience. And then always whenever you get a chance or opportunity, you can always go to a bigger company. But don't just vanish from the old company and start a new job at the new company because that is bad. That's something which will, be, which will not help you in the future because you have to you know produce your experience letter and other things from the previous company so that's the first strategy i wanted to share with you the next one which i have is skill set now what are the skill sets you will require to get into the small scale or a large scale company is soft skills communication skills leadership skills teamwork skills team building skills then comes the technical skills hands-on skills data and interpretation skills whether it is chromatography hplc whatever is required for that particular industry that technical skill you have you should have. Now, the third is deep domain expertise. Now, what is a deep domain expertise? You should be able to connect two unrelated related dots and come to a conclusion which really is a gold mine to the industry. Let's, let's for example, uh, you, you studied caffeine and then you also studied, uh, you know, analgesic. So, now, if you are able to connect that a painkiller given in combination with a caffeine, nowhere it is written in the, in the book probably, but when you know the properties, you can easily say that a caffeine when consumed with a painkiller will have adverse effects. So we should not give, right? So basically, what is this? This is the deep domain expertise. Only then you can connect two unrelated things and connect, okay, no, no, this should not be there. So that's deep domain expertise. The last one is educational qualification. That's a skill set which you can't deny. See, you can't get into an industry unless you're a master's. Yeah, bachelor's also can get in, but depending on the job description, whether they're looking for a master's or a bachelor's that you have to look for. So obviously you need to have that degree, right? Whether it is bachelor's or master's or PhD, so that you must have. So that's a skill set part you should remember. Now the third part is networking, right? I'll tell you a story. So last Saturday I was at iBiome. I could place three of my students in one company. They had a vacancy. I was just, just talking to the CEO and he said, I am looking for this kind of a person. I said, oh, I know somebody and I could help them right so what really happened here networking right i know him so i could place them right the same way so when you reach out to people and when you know them that's how you can do it so the best way of doing networking is watch one of my videos which i have done on our biotechnica youtube channel you can pass through you can go through that and then of course the start of networking can be with me you can just uh, become my uh, network member and benefit from it 
I will tell you a girl Ananya, and she is in my LinkedIn network. She is amazing, and I'm just really looking forward to in future whenever I get an opportunity which matches with her profile, I'm going to make sure that she gets a job because she's amazing, right? So that's networking. That we I we remember their name. Okay, this is the person who can match here, and that is going to give you immense benefits. So that's the third point. Now coming to the fourth, and the fourth is industry jobs vanish very fast. So you have to stay updated now. Industry opportunities, like we posted in the morning, there was a Coca-Cola jo job. So we posted in the morning. By afternoon, the HR calls and said, no, please close it. We are done here. The same thing uh, happened. Um, there was an internship in one of the startup companies in Bangalore, biotech company. So they posted within two hours, they called, we are done. We have got 100 applications we don't need. So what happens is industry opportunities vanish fast. They evaporate. So what you have to do is you have to be alert. You have to keep looking Biotechnica as soon as a notification comes, whether it is our Telegram group or app or uh, our website or no newsletter, please, you know, have that. Okay, the moment it comes, you have to apply. If you think, okay, I'll apply tomorrow or day after, by the time it will be closed, right? Because thousands of people are looking that job vacancy, not just you, right? So the chances of that job getting closed is very, very fast. So that's something which you should know. So today I told you four uh, pointers, which is strategy, skill set, networking and staying updated but at the end of the day you know i believe that if you don't absorb the action pointers which i shared today it's of no use so please go ahead and implement in your career and definitely you will be benefited my success will be the day you get a job because i really feel good when i when someone emails me that sir i saw your video and uh, using those those strategies i got got a job and now i'm ready for the industry that's something which is my you know, expertise and uh, I really want to make sure that you don't stay unemployable. Agreed that you may be in the valley of disappointment right now, applying, not getting job, a lot of struggle happens. But keep going forward, soldier, you will definitely get a job. All you have to do is keep trying, keep moving forward and implement the strategies and skill set ideas which I shared with you. Remember, you'll always feel that there is no light at the end of the tunnel, but scientifically proven, there is always light at the end of the tunnel. All you have to do is keep moving forward. So be a soldier. You will fall, but get up and keep moving. You're going to win. Take care. Bye-bye.